Like we were, I went, did anyone, has anyone been to an evangelical church lately? It's fucking mental. Church has changed, man. Like it's not the old dudes with like smoke and like, oh, all that. Nah, they had a massive rock band, a full HD cinema screen and cameras filming everyone and their faces were going up on the screen. And the rock band just like, Jesus is you. Jesus loves you, Jesus is you, he loves you, Jesus loves you, he is you, touches you, just over and over again for ages. That's true, it's all this weird sexual shit with Jesus. And then they handed out cards that said, give you bank details. Like, you had to put your banks down for track. Like, that's true, they handed out these cards for you, like, how do you put money? And then the first dude got up to speak, and all he talked about was his bank. He's like, oh, bank at ANZ, it's no good, don't trust them, we're not putting our money in ANZ anymore. <laughs> what the fuck kind of sermon is this? <laughs> Talk about ANZ bank rates. <laughs> and then the American dude got up, and uh, he was the best, because American preachers are always the best, aren't they? You know, they're the most interesting. But they never, what I love about it is nothing he said made sense. <laughs> He's like, God loves you, he's around you, he's in you, he's next door to you, but he's not your neighbor. <laughs> Stop pretending God's your neighbor. You treat him like that, you disrespect him, you hide, you see his fence, you pop your head over, you're looking at God's lawn. And you want to know how big his grass is, how tall it's gotten. God will think, no thank you, stay away from my grass, I'll mold myself. <laughs> You don't need to mow God's lawn. He mows it himself, thank you very much. You know, don't you, sir? Because you want your grass to be longer than God's. But it won't be, because he's God. He's around the grass, fertilizing it, trying to understand it. Because he is the grass, and the bigger it gets, the more love you have. You pop your head over the fence to find God, and he's not there. Things are doing well for you, sir. You look clean cut, you've got clothes on, you look good. You've got a nice watch, and you think God is there as your neighbor. You pop your head over the fence, but he's not. <laughs> he's not there when things are going well. Things are going badly. Maybe you tub your stub, you tub, tip, you like hit your toe or something on the way into work. Start thinking about your father, have a collapse, like have a meltdown. I'm not sure what you want anymore in life. Start crying. You're bubbling and crying in the office. People are looking at you strangely. And you start like shooting the stapler or whatever it is you do. And then you go look over God's fence and he's there. Because God understands how important it is to be loved. Do you love her, sir? Touch my hand. Touch my hand up here, like this. Feel his heat. I can feel his heat. God can feel your heat. But you don't believe it's true because you never believed him. But he trusts you anyway. You ever jump on a trampoline? That's God. He Stop trying to treat God like your neighbor. That's the point. Stop trying to borrow his trampoline because he is the trampoline. Get us up down on him. Fun. Watch out for the springs. Then <laughs> 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 it gets real serious in the middle. Um, the other day, my wife I had a fight with my wife. You know, the married couple, if you understand. I had a fight with my wife. She came in to the room and said, Richard, why haven't you watered the garden? Why haven't you watered the garden, Richard? She looked me straight in the eye. My wife of 55 years. I'm looking at her in the eye like this. She said, why haven't you watered the garden, Richard, today? She emphasized today, you know, with her. And, and I wanted to say, Diane, I couldn't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about your roses, Diana. Never have. I poison them sometimes just to keep this relationship going. And I want to say, but that's the devil's hand coming out of my mouth and onto her, burning her face with the devil's hand of hate. God's over here. I open my mouth. <laughs> 
God comes in through the esophagus into the stomach, emanates out, love comes out. I said, Diane, I'll get to it later. <laughs> now I'm walking away. Key point to marriage is walk away. Have a walk, go to the park, play on the swings, get back to your childhood. That'll help you a lot, sir. You in particular, you need to regress. Come back later and say, Diane, I've watered the garden, sweetheart. Now make me some scones. <laughs> this is the rest of the show, by the way. <laughs> I just did it. it wouldn't be a bad show if you're like, yeah, you did like 10 minutes at the front, and then you just did a preacher thing. It's actually pretty good. Like, it wouldn't be a, that wouldn't be a bad show. Like, you wouldn't be like, oh, you know, it was, you know, different. 